Yes, thank you. My name is Ronald Mujisha and I'm the COO of Pascal Technology Group. Uh, Pascal Technology is a, a software development company that started far back in uh, 1997, but back in Johannesburg, South Africa. It later came to Rwanda in 2013. Uh, since then, we have been doing software development and uh, we developed a software uh, that is used in the, tra in the transport sector. And uh, that is the software, uh, firstly, that worked with the speed governor and uh, the GPS tracking. And uh, we currently have over 3,000 customers on that, both in public and private transport. And uh, we also have another solution, a software called the Pascal Motor, which is currently on, which is which are currently working on, on the motor project. In the government's efforts to go cashless, uh, we thought we would come in with our software uh, to improve uh, on the way how how the payments are done because our, our software is, is NFC compatible, even our devices. That means uh, they allow electronic transactions to take place. So uh, when this project kicks out, we shall be using cashless mode of payment. That is, we shall be using mobile money and uh, the cards. That those would be the modes of payment you are looking at. We may begin with cash, but uh, at a limited rate, so that uh, the population can easily transform from the method of payment they were used to, to the cashless mode. We had talks with the Tap and Go, but uh, Tap and Go is, uh, is into this project as well. Uh, there also, there is a company that was also licensed called Mara Fund to give out the meters. So they are in touch with Tap and Go. Uh, we are in talks. If the talks succeed, we are likely to use the same card. But uh, if it doesn't, we shall uh, come up with our own wallet. We shall come up with a different card that will be used by Pascal Moto passengers. Uh, the way the meter works, it is the metering device, this, that device. The way it works is like you sit on a motorbike, you don't need to discuss about the prices. So when you reach your destination, it will show you the amount you're supposed to pay according to the distance you have traveled. So, basing on what the device has shown, that is what you pay using mobile money or using your card. All I know is that uh, the first two kilometers is uh, 300 random francs, but the price setting is done by, by Rura, the regulator, it is not us. So the regulator sets the prices and just they give us the figures, put this amount according to the kilometer, per kilometer. When we have accumulated numbers, because we are in talks with the, the regulator, with the traffic police and the ministry in, in charge. When we have accumulated the numbers, we are three companies uh, licensed to do the same. So they know the numbers of the motorists in the city of Chigali, close to 18,000. So if, for example, we have covered maybe half of the motorists, then uh, the regulator and the people in charge of enforcement will come in and say, no motorists will be allowed to go on the road without a meter. So the, meet, the meter use will, will, will take effect immediately. Actually, the device is supposed to be paid in a period of two years. It is worth 222, 25 francs. It includes the phone, it includes the holder, 
it includes the charger, it includes the GPS, and it includes the SIM card that has 2 GB per month. Thank you.